We wanted to know if there were any big winners tonight or if there were any losers. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White, who is a moderator tonight, is also live in Bristol. He breaks it all down for us with the help of our expert political analyst. Yeah, Mike, some thought that the campus of Roger Williams University here in Bristol might be the scene of a political boxing match, particularly between the two candidates leading in the polls. But for the most part, everyone played nice. My plan reforms the pension system. With less than four weeks to the general election, Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says it was surprising the candidates for governor didn't come out swinging in their first live televised post-primary debate. And just answering the question straight out and not co comparing and contrasting himself, I think hurts. I think they have to try to make a difference between the two major candidates at this point. Those major candidates, Democrat Frank Caprio and Independent Lincoln Chafee, have both released a series of attack ads on TV. Yeah. Fleming says they may have decided to hold back. Well, the, the voters could get fed up with both of them, and John Robichai could be the benefit of this, or Ken Block. It's a risky chance you're trying to take. Overall, Fleming says moderate Ken Block was the most aggressive and performed well, and while there was no clear winner... I thought Lincoln Chafee had a good night. Uh, I thought he was pretty sharp on a number of the questions. Fleming says Republican John Robitaille needs to be careful linking himself to current Governor Don Cherry, and while Caprio stayed on message, that might start to change. I would expect towards the end of the campaign, when it gets down to crunch time, they will take their gloves off in live debates and really go after each other, trying to distinguish themselves from one to the other and give the voters a clear choice in the state. Fleming points out that most polls show Caprio and Chafee are neck and neck, but they're in the low 30 percent range and have been for a while, meaning now is the time to try and move the needle. Live from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Tim White, Eyewitness News.